Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there lived a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She got that name from her red coat, which was given to her by her grandmother. One day, Grandma got sick. Little Red Riding Hood's mom prepared lunch for Grandma and asked Little Red Riding Hood to take it to her. Here you go, Little Red Riding Hoods. This is Grandma's lunch. Please take care, go straight to Grandma and don't deviate from the road. Okay, Mom. She answered and went to take lunch to her grandmother. On the way to her grandmother, she saw beautiful forest flowers and started to pick them. She wanted to make a beautiful bouquet for her grandmother. Every flower that was deeper in the forest seemed more and more beautiful to her. She soon forgot her mother's warning. It was late, two eyes were already watching on her. Hello, little girl, what's your name? Little Red Riding Hood. Where did you go? I'm going to Grandma's. She is sick. Where does your grandmother live? At the end of the forest. The wolf has already come up with a cunning plan. Okay, I have to go now. Bye. Answered the wolf and rushed towards the grandmother's house to get there before Little Red Riding Hood. He knocked on the door. Who is? It's me, Little Red Riding Hood, bringing you lunch. Said the wolf in a changed voice. Come in, it's open. The wolf came in and ate the grandmother. He quickly changed into grandmother's clothes and lay down in her bed to wait for Little Red Riding Hood. Soon Little Red Riding Hood came and knocked on the door. Come in, it's open. Little Red Riding Hood looked at the wolf and asked. Grandma, Grandma, why are your eyes so big? To see you better. Grandma, Grandma, why are your ears so big? To hear you better. Grandma, Grandma, why is your mouth so big? To eat you easily. He ate Little Red Riding Hood. Tired from a hard day, the wolf laid down in bed and fell asleep. The hunter was passing by the house. He entered the house and freed Grandma and Little Red Riding Hood. Voices from website, voicebooking.com Three Little Pigs Long ago, deep in the forest, there lived three little pigs with their mother. One day, they decided to venture out into the world and find a nice place that would suit all three of them. They soon found a beautiful place. I want to build a house here. This place is beautiful. Like something out of a fairy tale. All three brothers agreed, but they couldn't agree on the type of house to build. The first pig wanted to build a house of straw. The second pig wanted to build a house of wood. The third pig didn't like either of those ideas because he thought the houses wouldn't be sturdy enough. I will build a house of bricks. The first pig built a straw house in one day. The second pig built a wooden house in two days. The third pig, the most hardworking, spent days building a brick house while the All that's done quickly is done cheaply. One day, the fearsome wolf appeared and went to the house of the first piglet then knocked on the door. Little pig, open up. No, because you'll eat me. But if you don't open, I'll huff and puff and blow your house down. 
The frightened piglet absolutely refused to open the door. This angered the wolf, who inhaled deeply and blew, blew, and blew until he blew the house down. The piglet quickly fled to his brother who had a house made of wood, but the wolf soon came there too. Little pigs, open up. No, because you'll eat us. But if you don't open, I'll huff and puff and blow your house down. The scared piglets didn't want to open the door, which angered the wolf once again. He inhaled deeply, blew, blew, and blew until he blew the house down. The frightened siblings quickly ran to their brother who had a house made of bricks. Don't be afraid, brothers, my house is strong. I worked hard to build it. The wolf quickly arrived there and knocked on the door. Little pigs, open up. No, because you'll eat us. But if you don't open, I'll huff and puff and blow your house down. The piglets absolutely refused to open the door. This angered the wolf again. He inhaled deeply and blew and blew, but he couldn't blow down the brick house. I'll climb onto the roof, go down the chimney, and eat all three piglets. The piglets realized what the wolf intended to do. They immediately lit a fire, put a pot of boiling water on it. When the wolf descended the chimney, he fell straight into the pot of boiling water, burned himself, and yelping, he ran out of the house and never returned. The piglets lived happily ever after in their brick house. The two brothers realized that hard work and effort always pay off in the end.